So I would say that it was very smooth. Um, generally, it did a great job. Like if this was available in Rivian's today, I would definitely be buying a Rivian. Uh, and, and uh, you know, this would be good enough to where like it's going to do the vast majority of my driving. But uh, it's not as good as Tesla's. There's, there's no question about it uh, yet. Um, and I would say my Tesla behaved in basically the same ways that this behaved roughly year, year and a half ago. So if I had to guess, I would say they're roughly a year to year and a half behind where Tesla was. Um, you know, like that's where Tesla was about a year and a half ago. Now, in the past year, year and a half, Tesla has gotten a lot better. The self-driving in Tesla has gotten a lot, lot better. Super smooth, like the bus situation would is uh, handled in the, in the Tesla. It just goes around a, a, a bus that's stopped as long as there's no oncoming traffic. It just handles those kind of situations perfectly fine. Or the bicycle uh, on the side of the street, it just like gives it more room without you having to sort of like co-steer away from it. So um, from a Tesla FSD driver, I use FSD literally every day for all my drives. <laughs> Uh, this was impressive enough to where I would use it if like this was available today, I would, uh, I would buy a Rivian. Um, but you know, I can acknowledge that it wasn't as good as where Tesla is today. You know? Right. And I don't think that was anyone's expectation. Yeah, no, I, I don't think so either. In, in fact, uh, Tesla people think that Rivian is never going to get this and should be like licensing it from Tesla. Mm -hmm. And this is something that, that boggles my mind. It's like, how do you think, and some people genuinely believe that uh, Rivian is 10 years behind Tesla. It's like, you know, even Tesla completely hit the reset button roughly three years ago on their AI uh, and autonomy capabilities and the, their approach towards it. So if you started from scratch today, you would be at best three years behind Tesla, assuming you had the resources and talent to be able to sort of like pull things off. But also... There's this thing that happens when uh, when someone uh, when a particular field is getting pioneered, the pioneers are like, you know, working for decades sometimes to get something to a certain place like ChatGPT with OpenAI yeah. for, as an example. But then the second to market or third to market can utilize all the stuff that's already there and uh, knows the approach, the new approaches that work and is only six months or a year or a year and a half behind. They're not like decades behind, right? Like it took us 70 years of computing to get what, where uh, ChatGPT is today. And this is like the real dream of what uh, computers were supposed to do, which was predicted from the 50s and has been worked on artificial intelligence since the 50s. But that doesn't mean the second player is 70 years or 80 years behind, right? Uh, it's totally. it's just a silly uh, silly position to take to, that just because Tesla has been doing it for ten years, you're ten years behind. Um, that it just doesn't work that way.